Okay, hi guys, we're going to work today. I just wanted to show you around a little bit. This is the center city of uh, Casablanca, but the, the one who's kind of uh, expensive. And it's almost 9 a.m. You can see that it's always, there's always traffic at this time. See, there is a big Adidas. That that is the biggest in uh, Morocco. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We have to make sure. Here you will see. I'm going to show you. This is actually the street. It's like the. This is exactly where where things happen uh, during the night. If you want to go out, if you want to uh, find a nice restaurant. And here you will see the twins, the twin setter. Ah, I'm uh, I'm filming this because I'm sure there's many of you guys who don't know that there is those stores in Casablanca. So here we have the twin setters. Check this out. It's actually my favorite place in, in Casablanca. See, there is the second right behind the first one, is at the store. And you can see guys, I'm a French expat. Again, I moved by myself in Morocco, in Casablanca actually. And you can see that I'm grabbing right now my phone, uh, recording for you guys, and I am uh, peacefully walking toward my job. So just to show you that it is completely fine to be a woman and live in Casablanca, even a French woman. I actually didn't have the time to grab a coffee. I wish I could go to a Starbucks, but I don't have the time because the Starbucks is pretty far. The Starbucks is pretty far from where I am right now. This is the um, Saham Insurance. It's the biggest insurance company in Morocco, maybe in Africa. It's a big boulevard. The they don't know how here the cars, they don't know how to stop. They never stop actually. You have to be very careful when you cross the road here. They might kill you. <laughs> Just a joke. So that's it there, I just wanted to show you around and just to show you that it's absolutely fine to travel and live in Africa because for people sometimes when I say to people I'm living in, I'm gonna live in Morocco they're like oh you're gonna move to Africa? oh they're gonna sell you some people told me that oh, if ever you move to Morocco they're gonna sell you they're gonna put a price on you and sell you I was like, all right. So, actually, I'm, uh, there is some bids on me. I'm being sold in like uh, two weeks. I'm gonna be sold. <laughs> That's funny. I have actually my friend, uh, Sandra, from Portugal, who came uh, two weeks ago, just by herself as well. And I showed her around. She went to Fest, she went to Chef Shawen. She went to, I forgot, Meknes maybe, and she stayed with me in Casablanca for like two days. And uh, we went out and stuff. It was very, very, very uh, nice. See, this is the, a chain. Uh, we're at China restaurant. Closed now because it's night. 
So here you can find any food you looking for. I'm telling you guys. Asian, Italian, French, American. Bondi is kinda it's kinda coffee shop, bagels, uh veggies and stuff, you know? Those kind of food like like the new uh, the new fast food, the new healthy fast food. So that's it guys, you can see it's again almost six minutes grabbing my iPhone, walking by myself, tour on my job and it's completely fine. <coughs> Sometimes you know you just have to think something, think about something. If ever you'll be in New York at a late time with your iPhone, could you tell me that no one's gonna grab your your iPhone? Maybe not. So again, sometimes you might be in more safe in Morocco than in New York or Paris. Just to remind you guys, there were more attacks in Paris and in the US during the last five years that it ever happened in Morocco. So no, it is safe to live in Morocco, guys. Again, in, in every country you can find the good and the bad. And there is always good areas and bad areas. Just make it happen and live in an area that is safe. That's it. For example, in New York, you, you, you're not going to tell me that in New York it's safe. Unless you live in Manhattan, uh, Times Square and stuff. Wow. Get me? So don't don't think uh, don't think uh, primarily. Like yeah, it's Morocco, it's Africa, it's dangerous. No. See this restaurant is pretty class dish. This is uh, French food. See this jaguar. I'm telling you, they have plenty of money. Look at the cars around me. Plenty of money in Casablanca. People are rich. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I was saying. Uh, there is good areas and bad areas and you cannot tell me that it's safe to live in New York for example you're gonna tell me no it's not safe if if you live in, in the Bronx or something like that yeah exactly it's exactly the same here if you live in an area that is dangerous you might be might be dangerous you might get troubles like any country or city in the world you can see it's very safe, it's very quiet. That's it, guys. So, guys, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna finish my road toward my job. And, uh, and, and, but I'll get back to you soon. I'll show you around again.